Kenya Defense Forces arrived there to begin their operation aimed at ending the 10-day inter-ethnic conflict. A section of the residents of Mayale began to flee, crossing the border into Ethiopia in fear of the arriving soldiers. And as KTN's Dennis Ansarigo reports, tension remains high in Mayale and its environs, even as Inspector General David Kimayo laid out the plan to contain the clashes. The moment you leave Moyale airstrip near the town center, the picture is that of a ghost town. And then you meet these houses torched hours earlier. Their owners have fled town. The houses could have either belonged to the Boranas, Gabra or Burji. Three communities are the center of the latest bloodbath. For the last one week since the burning started, burning and looting has been going on here for several days now. There are no people here. The houses are deserted. Apart from military and GSU personnel on the roads, there's no one on this road. As you can see behind you, there's still smoke, smoldering from one of the freshly burnt houses. And this was done this morning, just one hour or so since we landed here in Moyale. The animosity between the communities extends beyond burnt residential houses and deserted streets. It manifests itself best at the county hospital. The hospital doors have remained shut for the past five days now. There are no medical personnel. Most nurses have fled the facility for fear of attacks. KTN came face to face with the latest victim of skirmishes that have left 20 injured and at least 17 dead, though the number is yet to be confirmed by police. Police visibility has been enhanced with the aim of deterring further attacks and tackling down of the suspects. Jojo Duori is a police officer caught in a fierce confrontation Sunday morning. Police officers called in to flash out militia from a manyata or ambushed. George was shot several times. George being a government official is welcomed here. Communities seeking medical help for their loved ones have opted to ferry them to private medical facilities. Inside the private hospital, two more victims nursing gunshot wounds. Wale walikuwa natafuta sirikali ya Ethiopia, haka familia yani, haka geuka kwa kabila yetu, na aminifanya hivyo nikia nyumbani. Wale kufanya nini? Wale kipiga mimi na mrisasi. There were airstrikes carried out by Kenyan Defense Forces Sunday morning. They aim to create a buffer zone between the three warring communities. The Kenya Red Cross Society says the town center where some communities are now seeking refuge appears calm, but the security situation outside Moyale town is worrying. They are now in summer in Ethiopia. Others have left to, for example, in places where they, where they feel that they are safe. And uh, others are in Somare. Others are in Sesi, others are in lower part of even Helu. Others, they have gone even to outside even other districts. For now, there are more military boots on the ground trying to stabilize a region that has left everyone scared and on the run. The fighting enters the second week. Denison Sarigo, Ketien Moyale.